Hey everybody, my name is Tim Bryan. I normally make Python sports analytics videos, but I thought today I would uh, give this chat GPT a spin and uh, kind of tailor it to the stuff I like to do. So I told it to uh, create a, a game summary for a game that hasn't happened yet, the Cowboys-Buccaneers game happening in about three, four hours. Um, you kind of have to lie to it and tell it, you know, because if you tell it to predict an upcoming game, um, it will not do that. You have to say, pretend you're an NFL analyst on TV and give me a game summary. So here's what it did. Um, kind of interesting. It knows it's tr the data that it's trained on stops in 2021. So it's not like it's connected to Google or anything and can figure this out. But it knows that the Bucks are, are hosting the Cowboys. Kind of interesting. Um, it knows Tom Brady plays for the Cowboys and it knows the Cowboys have a good defense. So kind of general understanding of the league, uh, a little bit at least. Um, and then it kind of breaks down, you know, what happened, which I think is very interesting. It says first drive, uh, Bucks march down the field, Mike Evans scores, Cowboys respond right away, Zeke scores, and then Buccaneers kind of take control of the game. It still thinks that Gronk plays for the Bucks, but which makes sense because of what I said earlier. Um, it talks about they try to make a comeback, but in the end, the final score is 34 to 20. So um, maybe I'll check back in a couple of hours and see if that ended up being an accurate prediction. Kind of funny though, kind of interesting. It gives it gives us some more uh, analysis and key stats here too about you know how many yards uh, Zeke ran for and how many touchdowns Brady threw for. Kind of an interesting thing. So um, <clears throat> the the language model here is so powerful that it it has an, a decent understanding of not only the game of football but also you know players on specific teams and things like that. So I've got a couple examples of games that have just happened and things that um, you know memorable memorable games for me. Um, so here, this is the worst one, I would say it's, uh, the Chargers Jaguars game that just happened. Um, as everybody knows, the, the Jags were down 27, zero, they ended up coming back and winning. So I told it, just feed me play by play, uh, structured text, kind of like what I have here. So I, I started it off with three plays. This is when the Jags have the ball in the fourth quarter and they just need a field goal to win it. So, um, <clears throat> It says they converted this fourth down, which I believe they did. It might have even be Tra been Travis Etienne that did that. Uh, so they got the first down. And then it says Trevor Lawrence so bombed at DJ Chark, who is not on the Jags anymore. And it, this is where it went wrong. It actually, I told it was 28 to 30. And then after a touchdown, it says it's 30 to 30. So I had to correct it. Um, <clears throat> then it talks about Chargers getting the ball back. It's It thinks that Phillip Rivers still plays for the Chargers, which he hasn't for a number of years, but I'm guessing the language model associates Chargers and Phillip Rivers closely. Um, and it kind of got this stuck in this pattern of kickoff, one play, and then touchdown. Like, it kind of does that over and over, even though there's like 60 seconds left in the game, which, you know, doesn't seem so realistic. So anyway, this was the worst one, but let's get into the fun stuff. I had it replay the Eagles-Bears game from 2019, 2018, uh, the double doink game. Uh, so... I set it up where at the point where um, right before Cody Parkey attempted the, the field goal. So these three plays and it was kind of wrong here too. It, it thinks that on fourth and two with a, a field goal, win it, the bears would go for it on fourth and two. So I had to correct it said, uh, try that again, but have Cody Parkey attempt a field goal. And it must be destiny because it had Cody Parkey hitting the left upright. So double doink in reality turns into a single doink in the AI's, output here so <laughs> kind of funny there um next one is the minneapolis miracle which is another 2019 uh playoff game viking saints they went into overtime uh, what really happened is the vikings got the ball and then uh stefan Diggs ran it for like 80 yards to score a touchdown and win it so i have them start with um uh the vikings have the ball here uh passing complete to Diggs. delvin cook run for three yards and then on third down, another incomplete pass. So it has the Vikings actually punting instead of winning it. And then, you know, it has uh, the Saints receiving the ball. Bridgewater ends up driving down the field after a 38-yard bomb. Follows that up with a 20-yard pass for a touchdown. So um, Vikings fans can't even uh, can't even win in, a, in an AI output. Sorry, sorry to say, but you know, kind of interesting. This one's my personal favorite. This is the Super Bowl. The 2015 Super Bowl Seahawks and Patriots. Everybody remembers this one. 
Seahawks had the ball first and goal uh, on the one yard line. And they had Marshawn Lynch, the best running back in the league at the time. Uh, <clears throat> and they passed it. Patriots got the interception and won it. So I gave, I set it up in that situation and it actually had, it did the right thing. It had Marshawn Lynch running in for one yard for the touchdown for the win. So even the AI knew what the right call was there. So kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you try out uh, any NFL play-by-play -play stuff in this chat GPT. Thanks.